What's happening everyone? My name is Jeremy Schick and I'm a fixer. In today's video we're going to be fixing a Genie garage door opener that won't lift anymore. I'm going to show you here in just one second exactly what it's doing. But it's basically grinding and it won't lift the door. It'll actually still close it, it just won't lift it up. Let me show you what it's doing. When you go to open the garage door, this is what it does. It just does not want to lift. So if I close it, it'll actually push it down. So let me show you how to fix it. The issue is this carriage right here. I'll show you on the new one, the teeth, and how it's basically ground down on this one. I'll pull this off and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the replacement part for that carriage. And you'll notice here, this is the actual drive piece that engages with the screw drive, the screw which is in this channel. And I'll show you when I've already pulled down the old carriage, but I'll show you whenever I do. All of these teeth, or part of these teeth, are actually ground down on the old one, so it has no way to grab those screws and lift the door. Um, so. Let's get to it. We'll go ahead and replace it. And I'll put a link in the description for this part that you can order on Amazon. And these are this is just a genie garage door opener with a screwdriver, and this is the carriage for it. Hey buddy, you gonna help me fix the garage door? Yes. What you, okay. What do you got on you? Pliers. You got your pliers to help? Mm -hmm. Alright, very good. All right, so I'll show you how this works. I'm gonna have to climb up there, buddy. All right. Essentially, there's two bolts here. I've already loosened them up. They're 13 millimeters. I don't know. Yours might be different, but basically, I'm actually gonna disconnect this. This is what connects your garage door to your carriage. I'm gonna pull down. I'm just gonna loosen that up. Then I can pull this little pin out pull this out and you can see you're gonna get greasy because this is all lubricated up so now this thing will free freely move so I'm gonna lift this piece up right here this is the stop that tells it where to stop lifting or closing if I lift it up I can slide this past it so essentially I'm just going to take this nut off and actually before I do that I can do it. Climb up there for just a second, buddy. You're gonna help? Alright, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and spray some silicone on the new carriage just so it will be lubricated. Alright, buddy, can I get up there? Climbing down, please. Climbing down for me. Thank you. All right, so I have one nut out. I'm going to pull that nut out. This whole track comes loose. We're doing that, I can slide this old one out. And I can slide the new one in. And then you just reattach those two bolts. Tighten these bolts up. And reattach this arm. Stick the pin back in. And then the only last piece is to reattach this pull rope that is going to be greasy now. In fact, I might do this later because I need to retie that so we can mess with that later. But if you look, you can see the difference on these teeth, how they're ground down in the back. That's why it wouldn't lift. It would still close it because it had enough to catch on the front. So, this is the test. Let's see if it works. So, since I don't have the pull string, I have to push that back to engage it. Close. 
All right, so that's how you fix a Genie garage door opener that is grinding and will open up. It's just a little $20, uh, I think it was $20, $21, $18, something like that. $21 carriage, and you can go to Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Go buy it, fix your garage door. Thanks yeah. for watching. I'm Jeremy, and I'm a fixer.